The threat of algae from Lake Okeechobee hasn't had an effect on the Sun Coast yet, but a new survey finds the whole state of Florida risks losing vacationers because of it. ABC 7's Ray Collins has the details. The algae bloom that began in Lake Okeechobee is 100 miles from the Sun Coast, but a new survey shows a large number of prospective tourists up north would hold off coming to Florida until the algae is resolved. Uh, we have had questions. John Shields has been a Lido Key lifeguard for 39 years. He's answered questions on everything from turtles to rocks, and right now the issue is an algae bloom that's miles away. I'm not really surprised just because uh, uh, when things go out nationwide uh, in this area is so huge in tourism, uh, people find out about these things and want to know if it's safe to come. And apparently many are drawing their own conclusions, according to a study done by the University of Florida's Tourism Crisis Management Initiative. It concluded the algae bloom in other parts of Florida has half the potential visitors to Florida concerned enough to delay their travel here. But make no mistake, this bloom has caused some problems. It's drifted west out the Caloosahatchee River to Fort Myers to the Gulf, and to the east out the St. Lucie River around Stewart to the ocean. And while it's caused huge problems on the Treasure Coast, the Sun Coast is not involved. But for some answering those survey questions outside the state, they don't always differentiate. We're in Sarasota and Longbow Key. It's just like we're not affected by it directly. Chris and Carrie Barksdale came here on vacation, and they're not concerned about the algae or any other potential deterrent. I've been coming here since I was a little girl. I've been through the red tides, and, you know, multiple times, and I don't know. It's just things happen, and you, it doesn't really affect you. Meantime, over at Visit Sarasota County offices, they're not saying much right now. In fact, they're turning down requests for interviews. But they are posting daily social media photos to show the world Sarasota County is open for business. In the newsroom, Ray Collins, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.